Hey everybody, Nancy Harner with the Jim Allen Group, Cobble Banker Howard Perry in Waston. And I'm standing here today with Chris Schiavone, and we are in Calvin's Mill, and we're in Young School. And we are standing here in his neighborhood yep. of one acre lots. Yep. And from what I understand, help me with this, it is 10 minutes from downtown Wake Forest. Sure. Yep. Uh, so 30 community. minutes from RTP. Yep. Yep. Great. Um, community is in uh, Wake County. Like, yep. she's, like uh, Nancy said, it's 10 minutes to Wake Forest, 30 minutes to RTP. Yep. We're on these big, beautiful uh, one acre plus lots yeah. out here in Calvin's Love Mill, the historic Mitchell Mill area of uh, Wake County. Um, the house we're standing in right now is our Onyx plan. It's one of our most popular plans. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful house, 3,600 square feet. Um, Plenty of land to do what you want up here, that's for sure. And I love that. I love the fact that as you drive here, you get a peaceful feeling, a little bit more of a rural yep. flavor. Yep. And when we, as we get, first of all, thank you, Chris, mm -hmm. for, for talking to us today. As we get started, tell me about Gemstone. I know you have a partner, Ken, who's yep. not here today. He just had a baby. That's right, yes. Um, but tell me about your company and how you got started in this crazy business. Sure, sure. Sure. So uh, back in 2016, me and my business partner, Ken Godwin, uh, we got together. Ken has about 25 years in the home building experience. Uh, I come from the commercial construction world. Oh, okay. Um, so we got together, um, we kind of hit it off and uh, decided that, hey, we wanted to take a leap of faith and start our own building company in 2016. Um, and it's been good ever since. Yeah. Uh, we have a good dynamic. Ken kind of runs the construction side. I run everything on the operations and the business side and sales okay. side. Um, so a big thing of kind of Gemstone's philosophy is we want to build houses that appeal to kind of that everyone, you know, we're, we're not pigeonholing ourselves into the low end or the high end. We have a good feel for the market in the middle end here. Uh, we kind of go for our step up home buyers and right. we really want to build homes that feel like a true gem, you know, that we, mm -hmm. that's a gemstone philosophy built to shine. Yeah. Um, so quality is our number one factor when we build our homes. Um, so that's kind they of They definitely do shine. Yep. It's, it's, you can tell that yep. that's exactly what I think when I come in here, and, and I think everybody else will think too. Tell me how you approach, I think I know how you approach, but do, do you approach it more from a design or an engineering mm. so slant? The, the first step we take when we're building our homes is definitely the design orientation, specifically the layout of the homes. Um, the number one thing is Ken and I sit down, we're looking at home plans. We really try to get the layout correct. Yeah. Okay. We want to make sure it's got a good flow, good right. aesthetic, that it works well for buyers. Right. Uh, you know, making sure the outside elevation really fits with the surrounding area. Right, yeah. um, so that's kind of our number one priority when building the homes is definitely that design, that aesthetic and the flow okay. of the houses. Good. That's what I thought you were going to say. And Chris, tell me today, we go through trends, I know, but what is the must have that everybody wants and everybody's asking you for? Yeah. So right now, the biggest thing hands down in our industry that we're seeing for is sculleries within the kitchen. Everyone wants the, the big walk-in pantries, yeah. uh, the prep the prep kitchen behind the kitchen. So that's okay. a really, really popular ad right now, the big walk-in pantries okay. and the sculleries, for sure. All sorts of things that I hear about, and that's the one, I wasn't sure why, but I've seen them now, and they are very nice. Yep. You, we talked about living here for a long time, which you have, but now Ken, your partner, grew up in this area like I did. Um, as you look at this area, because being from Long Island, you saw a big influx oh, yeah. of people. And this area, the Triangle area, which I'm sure you know, um, has a huge influx of people with Research Triangle Park sitting oh, yeah. there and all of the job growth in this area. When you build in the future, where are you going to be? What's hot right now? Yeah, um, like anyone else, I think you're kind of noticing the building is happening in the exurbs of uh, mm -hmm. the county, the, the triangle out here. Um, a lot of what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of growth down in Fuquay. We're seeing a lot of growth in Youngsville, um, out way out in Chatham County. So it does feel like okay. in the next few years, it's going to be pushing out to the exurbs. So from Chatham County to Johnson County, it's yep. all just the outlying areas. Oh, yeah. That was when I was in the relocation business, we had a lot of customers, people moving in that were asking for those outlying areas. Price had to do with it, but also 
a lot size. Yep. They wanted a little bit that's, more room. That's very big right now. A lot of, we're getting a lot of people who are looking for the bigger lots. Right. Uh, we're getting a lot of transplants from up north from right. us that are looking for a little bit more land. Right. I think Calvin's Mill is going to be a home run. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris, for talking to us today. I really appreciate it. And everybody, come out to Calvin's Mill in Youngsville and see what Jim Stone is doing. You're going to be so pleased to see you'll get a one acre lot, a wonderful country feel, yet all the amenities. And I love just the country peaceful feeling, but yet you'll also get all the custom features that Jim Stone puts in a home.